Hey everyone, so today this video is going to kind of be a tip and helpful video because I'm going to teach you how I contour my face. This is the way I do it and I think it's really simple and easy so if you're kind of confused on how, how to contour your face and slim it down a little bit then continue to watch this video and hopefully my tips will help you. I want to show you guys different products you can use and different brushes. Deciding on what you want to contour your face with is definitely your whole preference. I recommend an angled contour brush and this is the Sigma F40 brush and I think this is really good to get into the hollows of your cheekbones and this is if you want a precise one. Now if you kind of want one that's a little bit larger then I really suggest a kind of flat top one like this. This is actually for contouring which is kind of kind of weird but I use this for blush sometimes and this is from Coastal Sense. It doesn't have a name so I'm not entirely sure on what it is but you can find brushes like this anywhere. This is the e.l.f. powder brush. It's kind of similar. I'm going to be showing you um, using this brush since I normally use this brush. It's obvious you can you contour with bronzer. You contour with a darker bronzer but there's also other ways that you can contour and I really like contouring with blush but if you're going to be using blush definitely use a darker blush because there's really no point in contouring your face with a light blush because it really won't even show up. So I highly recommend they use a darker blush. I really love using the e.l.f. blush in Berry Mary and it's just a really nice plummy color. It has quite a bit of shimmers but it doesn't really pick them up too well. It's like not going to be overwhelming if you're going to be contouring the way I do. I've been mainly focusing on contour. I'm like slapping my brush around. I also like the e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzing palette. You can just use this one and it'd be perfectly fine. But since that's a little bit glittery and this one also has glitter in it, the blush to begin with, I really don't recommend mixing two because that would just be kind of overwhelming. So I suggest using a matte bronzer and this is the NYC bronzer in Sunny and it's in 720A Sunny. Sunny. If you get this, you can contour with it. You can just sweep that all over your face for a nice glow. So it's a really, really good bronzer to have in your collection. So first what I'm going to do is get to my brush. I'm going to take the Sunny Bronzer first and dip my brush in it a little bit here and tap off the excess and then take a little bit of the e.l.f. blush in Berry Mary and tap that in and tap off the excess. Find the hollows of your cheek is pretty easy. Um, I always used to have trouble with contouring. I wasn't even sure what a contour was not that long ago. Um, but I'm being honest. Once you get comfortable with contouring your face, it's kind of easy to figure out and do, so you won't be having to make the fishy face that everybody talks about. So, what you're going to be doing is, if you're contouring for the first time, suck your face in, like a fish, in the hollows of your cheeks right here that you can see when you do it, that is where you're going to contour, so right here. And you want to kind of stay away from your mouth because you don't want to contour all right here because then that would be kind of too much and it won't look too natural. Start right here and sweep it down. I'll suck it in my cheeks in for you guys so you guys know. Um, and then I'm going to go like this and work it in my hairline towards my mouth. And I like to stop about here. I get a little bit more of the bronzer and the blush. Dip it in both once and I'm going to tap off the excess on my hand to continue to contour. Since I use blush, I don't like contouring all over my face and doing the 3E method. I never really liked the 3E method. I kind of just like working it down my face like this. And then if I'm going to be bringing it to my drawline, I like just dipping it in the bronzer. Just kind of tap off the excess. We don't really want any of the blush there to bring down my, our face. And then we kind of work it right up here. I like using it with a light hand. So to use it with a really light touch in the light hand, grab it from the sort of the end of the brush and bring it up to your temples. I don't know if you can see the difference because of the light, but you, I can see the difference in the camera. So when I do the other side, you'll probably be able to tell more because it's my light's over here and there's more of a shadow over here. Kind of, kind of confusing. I'm going to repeat this on the other side and then I'm going to show you guys how to contour your nose. Baby, I just because it really helps and slims down my face. You can really use a smaller brush if you really want to get a nice contour on your nose. But I'm going to kind of go for a like, pretty simple one and go kind of easy with it. And I'm going to start right here like where my nose 
starts like near your eyebrow and you're going to bring it down your nose and kind of pack it in there. Then you're going to sweep it down your face here. It gives the illusion of a thinner nose and I really need that. My nose is so weirdly shaped. It um I think it's like broken it feels like. I hit so many times in the nose that it is dislocated some way. I don't really know but I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and this is the Sigma F30 powder brush and I'm going to kind of blend that all out really really lightly. That is how I contour my face. I really hope this helped you. It's really simple and easy. Um, you can get these brushes really anywhere, ones that work for you. Might be different for you, but if you contour a different way, let me know because I would love to try it out. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.